Qualcomm announces new SOCs, HTC One M10 perfume camera specifications leaked, and Facebook now supports multiple accounts on its Messenger app. All this and more on today's episode. This is day 43 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. Qualcomm announced three new SOCs today, the most powerful of which is the Snapdragon 625. It is an octa-core chipset that's based on the 14nm manufacturing process. It also comes with an X9 LTE modem chipset. Next up is the Snapdragon 435, which is also an octa chipset, but is based on a larger 28nm manufacturing process. It comes with the X8 LTE modem chipset. Lastly, you have the Snapdragon 425, which is a quad-core chipset and is also based on the 28nm manufacturing process, but comes with an X6 LTE modem. Qualcomm also announced the Snapdragon Wear 2100 SoC, which has been specifically designed with variables in mind. It supports always-on connectivity and also has an ultra-low power usage. It supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, as well as Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0. An unofficial render of the HTC One M10 perfume has been leaked today and it suggests that the phone will have a design that is a mix of both the HTC One M9 as well as the HTC One A9. Sources also indicate that the camera used on the phone would be the same as the one used on the Nexus 6P as well as Nexus 5X. The Sony IMX377 sensor will also have optical image stabilization unlike the Nexus phones. Up front, the device is also expected to pack a Samsung Ultra Pixel camera with a resolution of 5 megapixel. Sources also say that after three generations, the M10 will have a new and larger display at 5.2 inch and a resolution of 1440p. The Samsung Galaxy S7 rumors don't seem like they're gonna stop anytime soon. New rumors indicate that the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge would be up for pre-order on the same date of the announcement, which is Feb 21st and that anyone who pre-orders the device before March 11th, the official release date, they would get a free Gear VR headset along with the package. Just a few days after Facebook allowed multiple accounts on Instagram, they are now allowing multiple accounts on their Messenger app as well. New reports also suggest that they are testing SMS integration on the Messenger app, which was a feature that was available earlier but was taken off because of lack of popularity. So that brings us to a point of today's discussion. Have you ever used any app for SMS integration? And do you think you will use it if Facebook does bring it out with Messenger? That's it for today's news guys. See you again tomorrow with more technological news. Thank you.